So the cat whips out a device called the Funometer, which you would think shows how phenomenally annoying he is, but instead restates what we already knew. You're a control freak and you're a rule breaker. That'll be $700. Who's your insurance carrier? Stop this right now! <gasps> Who said that? Me! Remember the fish? Actually, no, we don't remember, because this is the first time you've been introduced. Kind of late in the game to bring this character in out of nowhere, isn't it? <laughs> ah! How did you get a banana become a mine? There was this cat I knew back home where I was bred. He never listened to a single thing his mother said. You know, I sometimes wonder if this is all just a really wacky episode of To Catch a Predator. So have fun, fun, fun! Go insane and have some fun, fun, fun! Just look at me! No, I got it. I know what this is. This is one of those fake trailers before Tropic Thunder. The one that looks real but is so goddamn stupid it couldn't possibly exist. Except... This one actually exists, and you should cry because of it. That's monstrous! This filthy thing? She was gonna wear that tonight, and you ruined it. Honey, it was ruined when she bought it. <laughs> yeah. You know, whenever I have too much hope, I'll just remember to play that scene to remind me that all is lost. <laughs> all is lost. These things will not bite you, they want to have fun. So without further ado, meet Thing 2 and Thing 1! When did Marge Simpson mutate with Alfred E. Newman? Those are hideous! What? They look like the Dr. Seuss book. Alright, first of all, when did you start following anything from the Dr. Seuss book? Second, what makes something cute in a drawing doesn't necessarily make it cute in real life. In drawing, you can get away with leaving certain things out, like upper lips per se. They would look like wrinkles if you put them in a drawing, but in real life, it looks fucking scary. The reason Cindy Lou was the only cute character in The Grinch was because she was the only one who was allowed to have an upper lip. Everyone else looks like a demon-possessed hungry hungry hippo. And these two look like the Shining Girls and Bozo the Clown gave them Jaeger bombs! Don't catch him! But, uh-oh, the dog gets away and they have to get it back! Time to die! Cat, you scared him away! Dirty hoe! Eight! That's eight times Dr. Seuss rolled in his grave! Ah, ah, ah! Oh, so they finally hanged him. That's nice. Hello? Hello, Critic? Are you coming back? <sighs> I don't know, child. It's just... that last scene. What can somebody say to that? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make any sense at all. Cat gets hit in the balls, he's in a dress, and on a swing. With a unicorn. I have nothing for it. I have no jokes at all. Have I lost my mind, Evelina? Could it be that I've lost my touch in making fun of scenes like this? Could it be that... 
The cat in the hat has broken me. I don't know, but my dad will kill you if he knows that you left me alone instead of babysitting. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll be back soon. So after that scene, Baldwin chases after them, but they escape through a kiosk where a party is going on. Yeah, but that's never explained. In fact, it's forgotten just as quickly as it's discovered. And they make their way back home. Here she is, the super luxurious omnidirectional whatchamajigger. S-L-O-W? Yeah, slow. It's better than the last name we had. Super hydraulic instantaneous transporter. Oh, you mean it. No! Quick to the slow! <laughs> nine! That's nine times Dr. Seuss rolled in his grave. Ah, 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 ah. Only to discover that the cat's magic box has been left open and is spreading chaos everywhere. But let's be really honest, it's just trying to look like one of the Seuss attractions at Universal Studios. Don't believe me? They literally say it. Being like at Universal Studios. <laughs> yes, you just saw that. He literally directly advertised to you Universal Studios. I don't think the entire running time of The Wizard is as big a sellout as that mere couple of seconds of Mike Myers winking. In fact, I think every Dr. Seuss movie can be summed up in that one gesture. Painfully obvious references? Ching. Totally unneeded adult jokes? Ching. Appealing desperately to the lowest common denominator the same way Michael Bay appeals to penises and Stephanie Meyer appeals to vaginas? Ching. 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 In fact, why don't we just make this the new Dr. Seuss logo? Dr. Seuss. We've got to have money. Ching. So they find the crate and finally close it. All's awful that ends awful. But wait, the place is still a mess. You need to get out. But I thought you two wanted to have fun today. Look around, cat. You were right. It's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. And you don't know when enough is enough. Please. Out! Finally, the only justified moment in this film. I just wish it happened an hour and a half ago. <laughs> but if you know the story, oh, let's face it, doesn't matter if you do, they follow it so rarely. The cat comes in and fixes everything. And it wouldn't be a shitty Dr. Seuss movie if we didn't have a shitty pop song for the soundtrack. And you're not gonna believe it, but they literally referenced that selling point too. We even managed to work in an up-tempo pop tune for the soundtrack. That's important. Oh, for God's sake, Soulless! Why are you being so obvious with how evil you are? Well, it's hip writing fact number one. If you say you're doing something painful and stupid, it's immediately no longer painful and stupid. Oh, I see. Critic, I'm gonna hit you. Ow! You can't scream, it's no longer painful and stupid. Yes, it is! This whole movie is! Shut up! Even with its dumbass ending of mom happily returning, Baldwin being dumb and the party going great. But by having grown up humor, we make it more adult. By modernizing the dialogue, we make it more timeless. And by changing the source material, we show how much we want to make it even better. No. Every single thing you said, you got back. By having grown-up humor, you make it more childish. By modernizing the dialogue, you make it more dated. And by changing the source material, you show how much you don't respect what's already perfect. I'm not gonna act like everything Seuss wrote was a masterpiece, but when he got it right, he got it right. They don't need to be updated. They don't need to be fixed. They don't even really need to have movies made about them. But if you're going to do it, the very least you can do is understand the source material. Well, of course I understand the source material. They're just simple kids' books. No, they're not just simple kids' books. They're stories that we are continuing to read even today. They're stories that we remember years later, even when other stories fade from our memory. They're stories we will never forget, and for good reason. 
They're stories that help shape our childhoods through well thought out writing, imaginative drawings, and endearing morals. And the idea of this shaping somebody's childhood, the fact that it even has the same name, just makes me sick to my stomach. Maybe these simple kids books are far more adult than you give them credit for. And I guarantee that'll show when years later both children and adults will still be reading these simple kids books while well, pandering bullshit like this disappears out of people's consciousness, also for good reason. Good art doesn't come from focus groups and statistics. It comes from people who share how they see things in their own unique way. Critic? I think I like your book better than I like the movie. So do I, kiddo. So do I. No. No, you're wrong! You're all wrong! I'm going to show you all the Seuss movies until you appreciate them! The Grinch with dog butt kissing. No! Horton hears a who with anime references. No! The Lorax with Taylor Swift and Saga Bro! No! <laughs> somebody miss her daddy? How's my little? Hey, I know you. You're that executive that sold his soul to make those horrible Dr. Seuss movies. What? Oh yeah, I rigged it so that each of them would be a hit. No person in their logical mind would willingly go see that shit. That almost rhymes! It's not true! It's simply not true! And now it's time to return the favor. What? Hey, uh, I know it's not my place or anything, but, uh, could I throw in a suggestion torture? Sure. What? You want me to do what with the fork? Buddy, I like the way you think. Oh, <laughs> well, he gave me a lot to work with. <laughs> <laughs> Come, my little house spawn. Enjoy that book. Well, maybe there's some hope after all. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember. Hey! What are you doing with that fork? Ah! 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 While others would like to forget. Ah! 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 Ha <laughs> ha!